What is happening guys, Art Chisel here and welcome to another video. This is probably the last time that we're going to be talking about rolling sleeves in the army right now in the present time. For those of you guys who got really excited when the 10 day trial period was open to Fort Hood soldiers, there you guys have it. Sergeant Major of the Army Daily and Army Chief of Staff General Milley finally approved it. You guys can finally roll your sleeves all year round camo out. Okay, so according to the army memo that I will probably link you guys as soon as I get the link and I'll put it down in the description box. Here are the main things, main highlight of that army memo about rolling sleeves. Commanders may authorize rolled sleeves effective immediately. The memo also applies to the army combat uniform in the universal camouflage pattern, operational camouflage pattern, or operation enduring freedom camouflage pattern. Pattern. Sleeves will be rolled with the camel facing out. Sleeves will be rolled neatly above the elbow, but no more than three inches above the elbow. And the most important thing, I don't know if you guys actually grasped it already, this is up to your command's discretion. If your chain of command, if your commander, if your sergeant major decides that, nope, we are not rolling sleeves, then you are not going to be rolling your sleeves. I repeat. Sleeve rolling is up to your command. It's up to your command's discretion if they're gonna do it or if they're not gonna do it. So with that said, make sure you ask your chain of command before you do it so you don't go all crazy and get smoked when someone sees you and someone who's not tracking about this current memo that was put out. Again, if you want to read more about it, I'll be putting the links down below for the article and hopefully I get a link for the actual memo and links will be down below. My opinion though about this situation is I don't really care that much. It doesn't really bother me. Rolling the sleeves or not, it doesn't affect my feelings or anything because I feel like there's more things that we should be putting our attention more than rolling sleeves. I don't really even know how this became like a headline instead of other things that we should be worrying about. Rolling sleeves versus current situation overseas right now about elections and all these stuff. The thing is I can't really talk about elections or a lot of these things on my channel so that's why we're highlighting on these rolling sleeves. But if you ask me personally offline maybe outside of YouTube I think we should focus more on things that matter. But don't get me wrong, I like it that the Sergeant Major of the Army Daily and Army Chief of Staff General Milley, sir, I appreciate it. You guys are really awesome because you're really listening to the soldiers. It makes the soldiers feel like they have a voice or they have a way to communicate to you guys. That's, that's pretty good. Like the new army right now currently changes a lot, adapts to what's happening. Like just for example, apparently all the information or all the voting or all the things that they considered was through social media from what I've heard and from the articles that I've read. Well, guess that's a good thing. They're really open to changes. Hopefully it continues and hopefully they use it for the better of the army. All right, hopefully that's the last time we're gonna be talking about rolling sleeves. But if you wanna ask me about this situation or whatever, comment down below and I'll respond as much as I can. With that said, let's move on to some things that I do wanna put out. P.O. Box. P.O. Box is finally open. If you don't know it by now, if you want to send like artwork, mails while in basic training, if you want me to send you a care package, if you're overseas deployed or whatnot, or if you just want to send something like a picture so we can hang it on the wall because I'm getting tired of this green screen. That's why I keep using my green screen to put random stuff in the back. So send it. P.O. Box down below. I appreciate it. Whatever. And also my birthday is on the 30th, but you can still send stuff even after my birthday. I'm totally not. I'm, I'm not being, I don't even know. Just send whatever you want. I'm just kidding. But it would be nice though. Also, big news. Flora's coming back for the 4th of July weekend for the rest of the summer along with baby Liana and another dog named Nikki, a smaller hairy chihuahua. She's finally gonna get reunited with Drake. And if you do not know Drake, you are missing out and you're probably not following my channel in some of my videos. But with that said, if you are a female, because a few females have been messaging me about the female POV about joining the army, we can finally ask questions questions down below for Flor and just hashtag ask Flor and I'll relay the message to her and we'll make a video about it and she wants to make a lot of videos and she wants to be part of this thing again. She's finally done her vacation. She was gone for like a whole month. That's why I've been pumping out a lot of these videos. Also, thank you very much for all the response and all the comments and all the guesses and what's gonna happen to me this coming July. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys another hint. We are moving. 
Moving in the army means PCSing. Finally getting out of Fort Hood. That's it for now. There's more to come. But continue putting whatever guess you want to guess down below in the comment section. It's just so funny how people... Some people got it. Some people did not get what's going to happen to me. I'm just going to leave it like that. So if you're interested, if you want to be part of the discussion, comment down below. I'm pretty excited to move though. But... You know, the army, it can change in just one snap like that. So who knows? It might go through, it might not go through. We'll see, we'll find out. And also, for the end of this video, I'm gonna just give some shout outs to some other military vloggers or content creators here on YouTube. Please check out JT Suits and the Infantry Life. I'll put their links down below in the comment section. If you're interested with Navy stuff, he's a Navy veteran. His name is JT Suits. Check his link down below. And the other user is an army veteran. His username is the Infantry Life. Check his links down below. Tell him I sent you guys over there so they know. And we're just basically trying to widen our community here on YouTube. Social media presence. Because when I went to the YouTube meet not too long ago, and if you missed it, bam, this is what happened. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We got a pillow. I was the only person or content creator that talked about the military. There was like gaming videos, there's like beauty, lifestyle, there's like music, a lot of things, comedy, finance, but there was no military content creators and I felt really lost. That's why recently I've been scouring YouTube for other content creators. And if you guys have any suggestion on who you want me to check out and spread the word and just build this community, future soldiers, current service members and veterans, it would be nice, you know? Preferably the smaller ones or someone that's not really getting all the attention that they, they deserve so we can put them out and spread the knowledge, you know, like, hey, military community right here. We're all one team, right? That's it for today. I felt like I just blabbered and just talked about random stuff, but that's my piece about rolling sleeves and all my updates. That's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more information whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe. Social media links down below. That is it for today. Our chisel out.